Um, the, the chronic pain situations after uh, five years uh, was that uh, we had uh, uh, 52 patients with a chronic pain report, uh, five of which uh, with a relevant chronic pain, which is um, a, a vast scale of more than three. Twelve patients had uh, chronic pain um, already after six months, and uh, 36 uh, patients had late-onset chronic pain. Uh, that is to say they were pain-free after six months. Uh, interestingly, um, after five years, we found that uh, the Liechtenstein repair uh, showed, uh, the Liechtenstein repair group showed um, significantly more chronic pain, uh, 6.4 versus 70.4% uh, of chronic pain. Um, another uh, significant parameter for chronic pain after five years was uh, chronic pain after six months, as you can see here. And um, sensory disorder of the groin after 5.2 years uh, was significantly linked with chronic pain um, after five years. 8.6 versus 38.7%, uh, highly significant. Then, uh, interestingly, um, uh, patients uh, with a neurolysis of the iliangular nerve showed a, a significant um, uh, link to chronic pain. I have to explain to you that starting um, uh, our experience from the shoulder eyes repair, where we did a mobilization, a neurolysis, which means mobilization of the nerve and preserving the nerves, mobilizing it from the cremasteric muscle uh, in order to um, keep it away out of the operating field, because uh, we had uh, to cut the, crema the cremasteric muscle at the level of the inner ring um, uh, for producing a, a, a smaller internal ring in the shoulder eyes repair. And we did this, the, the same step of the operation almost in all Liechtenstein repairs, uh, which uh, later proved to be unnecessary. But in this study, we did it. We did a neurolysis in a, a, a very high amount of uh, number of patients. So the neurolysis of the ilioingual nerve um, and the Liechtenstein group uh, showed uh, a significantly uh, more chronic pain. And the shoulder eyes group as well. But uh, interestingly, even in the shoulder eyes group where no uh, uh, neurolysis, that is to say mobilization of the iliangular nerve was performed, there was no chronic pain. This is not st statistically significant. Without neurolysis of uh, the iliangular nerve, there was only one patient out of 70 which reported chronic pain after 5.2 years. It was very surprising to us. All these parameters uh, were without significant influence on chronic pain after 5.2 years. Um, um, you can read it. <coughs> Conclusions. There was no difference in six months chronic pain rates after shoulders and Liechtenstein repair in primary and recurrent hernias. Preoptive pain is a significant factor for chronic pain after six months and five years. The rate of chronic pain uh, six months and five years after primary hernia repair was about uh, 16%. Without preoptive pain patients, uh, the chronic pain rate was 13.4 uh, versus 13.8% respectively. The rate of relevant chronic pain um, is 0.5% uh, after six months and 1.3% after five years. Interestingly, of our uh, uh, patients after five years without uh, preoperative pain. There were five patients with, uh, um, with significant pain, and all these patients were male. They had a neurolysis of the, neuro, neuro, of, of the ilioinguinal nerve and the Liechtenstein repair. The only independent significant factor for chronic pain after six months was sensory disorder of the groin, and um, there was a late onset chronic pain in 69% um, of the five year chronic pain patients. And the, only, the independent significant parameters for chronic pain after 5.2 years are chronic pain after six uh, months, sensory disorder of the groin, and the neurolysis of the ilioinguinal nerve. The Liechtenstein repair was not an independent uh, uh, factor for chronic pain. This is very important to, to, to remember. The combination of, uh, of uh, ilioinguinal nerve neurolysis and open mesh repair is significantly related to chronic pain after five years and should be avoided. And uh, the involvement of chronic inflammatory reaction to mesh, especially heavyweight mesh, which we used in our study, might be a risk factor for, for chronic pain. Further studies are here um, important. And uh, there are recommendations for nerve management and groin hernia repair according uh, to the literature and especially to the recommendations uh, which uh, Parvis Amit has published. The cremasteric fascia and uh, cremasteric muscle should be left intact. No removal of the nerves from their natural embedding and no traction on the nerves. 
um, try to ident identify the nerves and respect the nerve anatomy, especially in intramuscular segment of the iliohypogastric nerve. The external ring should not be sutured too tight, and uh, careful use of tacks and staples in uh, laparoscopic hernia repair. And the neurectomy with proximal end ligation and implementation according to AMID in case of nerve damage or unlucky nerve anatomy. Thank you very much for your kind uh, uh, invitation. I would like to invite you all to uh, our second International Hernia Symposium in hamburg Willemsburg, which will be held the 5th and 6th September of this year in the Hotel Hafen Hamburg in Hamburg. Thank you very much. Uh, mille grazie.